Hi, welcome to Deb's Digest. Today I have a special treat for you. I have a, a visiting chef that's going to prepare for us a popular Middle Eastern dish called muhiya. And so I'm going to step out of the way and let Fatten do her thing. Hello, I'm Fatten. Today we're making muhiya as Deb um, suggested. Um, we are going to start with either either a whole chicken or in this situation I used um, a package of drumsticks. You're going to use a big pot. You're going to put the drumsticks inside the pot. You're going to cut a yellow onion in fours and put it in there. Season it with salt and allspice and any other season, season, seasonings that you may like. And use about 10 cups of water. You're going to let that cook for about an hour or until the chicken is ready. Then you're going to remove the chicken from the pot and, uh, and debone it. Then you're going to drain the, uh, the broth that's, that, that you've created using the chicken and basically throw away the onion and any other seasonings that might have been um, in, the, in the dish. Uh, then um, we are using minced lochia. I'm using two packages. You can use one or two depending on how much you want to make. I'm using two. So once the chicken's ready, um, there's going to be about six cups of water left or broth left. So in this case, for two packages, six cups is fine. So um, let's go ahead and put the roti in. I've already taken it, uh, basically cut open the package, and I'm going to put it into the broth. And this is from Frozen. You can even set it out for a little bit if you like. And put it into the broth. While your mochiya is basically cooking in the broth, you can stir it a little bit. And we are going to cook the garlic. I've used a whole head of garlic. And half a bunch of cilantro that I've chopped up. So we're going to cook it in a little about a quarter teaspoon to a teaspoon of uh, oil. And I'm going to cook the uh, garlic. Let it cook just for a little bit and then I add the cilantro. We're going to add a chicken bouillon cube to the mojilla and the broth. This is going to help give it some more flavor. And we'll go ahead and add the garlic and some of the chicken that we've already deboned. And let that all cook together for about 10 to 15 minutes. until the mochilla is completely defrosted and stir occasionally. Now we're going to cover that and let it cook for about 10 to 15 minutes. It's been about 10 minutes and it looks right about done. I'm going to go ahead and plate it and we're going to see how it turned out. I have to tell you, while I was standing here smelling the aroma that was coming off this cooking, it's absolutely wonderful. It, I, I just can't wait to taste this. So, Fatten, tell me, how do, how do I eat this? Okay. Um, we are serving it today with Middle Eastern vermicelli rice, but it can be eaten with steamed white rice. Um, in this situation, we have it separate, but some people like to eat it in a bowl where they have the uh, rice and the mochilla on top. It's all a preference thing. So. Okay, so I can just spoon some of the muhi on top of the rice? Yes, and, make, and oh. squeeze a little lemon on top that Oh, okay. Flavor. I love lemon, so. Is that enough? Okay. Mm -hmm. Alright, it has nice big chunks of chicken in here. Okay, I'm going to take my first bite. Mmm. The flavor is awesome. The, the blend of the, the citrus and the, the garlic and the mojilla together are really, really wonderful. While um, 
Fatin was was cooking, I checked the uh, carbohydrates on the mojilla itself, and it's two grams of carbs and two grams of dietary fiber, so it absolutely zeroes out. This is a dish you absolutely have to try. Uh, first of all, I want to thank uh, my special guest, Fatin, for preparing this fantastic dish. I can't wait to eat the rest of it. We're going to put all the recipe and ingredients in the description box below so you, you won't have to worry about uh, capturing it on the video itself. And uh, if you will, please leave your uh, feedback and comments in the box below. And we'd both love it if you'd subscribe.